Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope everybody woke up this morning in a happy mood, a good mood, a loving mood. You let yesterday go and you're accepting nothing but happiness this morning, owning your day, starting the day off in a good way. Get that cup of coffee, look outside, look at the birds, look at the squirrels, whatever. Let's enjoy the day. Let's focus on happiness, happy thoughts. Um, and speaking on happiness, uh, I know last week we talked about unhappiness and we allow unhappiness to come into our life in many different ways. And, and when we argue with people, it can be people at work, people we love, people like our brothers, sisters, significant others, whatever. Um, you tend to put a lot of energy. We tend to put a lot of energy into arguing because we want to be right. That's the fact. We want to be right. We want to have the last word. Whatever the case may be, I understand that. But a lot of times you don't have to raise your energy and put all the power into an argument to cause you to destroy your day. Because arguments, you can be having a good day and then one little argument, you know, if you're taking it wrong, if you're, you're assuming or you're taking things personally, everything spirals out of control. Now that little argument became a big argument. Now you're arguing, it took all of your energy. For every 60 seconds that you are unhappy, that's one minute of unhappiness that you're that you're losing, of happiness that you're losing. So every time that you're, every 60 seconds, if you're unhappy, that's one minute of you smiling, of having that happiness in your life. So I saw this quote from an anonymous person where it said, don't raise your voice, improve your arguments. So to be more knowledgeable, to be uh, smarter and wiser when to choose to to argue and how to raise your voice but it's not raising it's about you being comfortable knowing okay you know what every action does does not deserve a reaction so you can control and not always put all of your energy into something or someone because if you notice after you argue you get into a fight you feel weak and you feel like oh my god the shakes and just so many different things going on because we allow it to happen Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. So if you're arguing with somebody and you know that, man, I can't battle with this person, I'm not good at arguing, whatever the case may be, you don't have to. Don't let that person make you feel that you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, you can't argue, or I can always you know, use my words to hurt this person, whatever. You have to be smarter and wiser to know when to react and not to react. Every action doesn't deserve a reaction. So what I'm saying is that control your thoughts, control your energy, focus on yourself, on how to become patient, not being able to react to everything, become explosive. Uh, invest into yourself, take time, meditate, focus. You don't have to go out and uh, uh, every action, everything that goes on, you don't need to react. You need to get mad if you woke up in the morning and everything isn't like you want it, but you're rushing and you're, no. Don't allow anything to control you, have that power to treat you as a puppet, to say, you know what, let me show you. Be angry. Go ape shit. You know, uh, road rage, whatever. And now you're coming out of your character when in reality it's not you. You're reacting or you're acting off of the anger that was caused from an argument or an event. Control your thoughts. Be powerful. You can do it. It takes time, but invest into yourself. Don't allow something or someone to have that power over you. You are stronger and better than anything.